Hello everyone. Welcome to new video of Whiteout Survival. In today's video, I am going to discuss about chief building and its use. Watch carefully. This is one of the buildings with most important role. There are total 6 power of edict which you can use. Night shift, comprehensive care, double time, productivity day, rush jobs and festivities. Each of them consume different amount of contentment. Later in video, I will discuss what is contentment. Let's start our tutorial with double time. If you use double time, you're new. Building construction or upgrade will be 20% faster for 5 minutes. As example, my furnace upgrade time is showing here more than 15 days. Though, the actual time from level 26 to 27 upgrade is not 15 days. I have bonus of 10% construction speed from Sunfire Castle given by President. Now I am going to use double time. It consumes 800k contentment. It has cooldown of one day so use carefully. See, my upgrade time is reduced to nearly 12 days. Which means it is 3 days lesser than before. This is how double time is used. Remember, it will last for 5 minutes. So you have to use construction before that. Let's continue to our next edict. Which is comprehensive care. It is used to cure your survivors if they fall sick. You can check number of sick survivor from here. Now there are many reasons for which your survivor falls sick. It may be either cold, malnutrition, less sleep or hard work without rest. If you run out of coal and your furniture go off, there will be coal and your survivor will fall sick. If you give low quality food to your survivor from long time, they will fall sick. If they work whole night and don't take rest, they may fall sick. For giving you example, I turn it off my furnace for some time. So my clinic is full right now. Let's cure them with comprehensive care. As you can see it consumes on 5 ok contentment. And it has a cooldown of 4 hour which is pretty low. See? My all 6 survivors cure. And there is no more 6 survivors. Let's continue to our next edict. Which is rush job. It gives 5 days working resources in one click. And it consumes 150,000 continent and it has 1 day cooldown. You are suggested to upgrade your Samo, hunting hut and other resource building to maximum level to get most benefit from it. Let's jump on our next edict. Night shift. When you use it, your survivors work on night for 48 hours. Survivor time. But your survivor mood is rid of B10. I will discuss later what is mood. Our next edict is Productivity Day, which has 12 hours cooldown and consumes 50k contentment. When you use it, your survivor succumb become 100% more. But it also reduce survivor mood by 10. Look at this stat off resource production. It is before using Productivity Day. And now I am going to show what happens when we use Productivity Day. This is data after using Productivity Day. I hope you can see its use. Now I am going to discuss what is mood. There is a green color smile face right side. It is an indicator of happiness of your survivor. There is a feather structure beside mood. It is comfort. Both mood and comfort define how much happy your survivors are. You can check your happiness from here. When you use night shift, your survivor work whole night. They are already working daytime. Using night shift means they will work 24 hours without taking any rest. This will reduce comfort. And when you use productivity day, your survivor work harder. And it will reduce mood off your survivor. And mood and comfort together reduce happiness of survivor. So you are advised not to use night shift and productivity day together at same time. If you use them together, your survivor happiness starts decreasing over time. Let's show you what happens when both night shift and productivity D's are in effect together. You can check there is red color dough over survivor head. It means they are not happy. Seeing survivor's activity you will 
clearly understand they are sleepy and they are trying their best to stay awake. Now, if your survivor happiness is too much low, they will go strike and your resource of production speed will be reduced by 30%. Your survivor automatically gain comfort or move when they take proper rest, use library to read book or other homey activity. You can see here they are sowing or gaining their happiness. Each type of activity gives different amount of mood or comfort. Upgrade each item inside your shelter to maximum level 2. Gain mood or comfort faster. But what happen if they strike against you? Well, don't worry, we'll have solution for it. In that case, you have to use your last and final edict. Festivities. It instantly gives 50 mood and 30 comfort. It consumes 50,000 contentment and it has one day cooldown. And it slowly increases happiness of survivor. So this is how it works. As soon as the new day starts, after activating festivities, your settlement will be decorated with placards, balloons and gifts. Your survivor happiness will start increasing slowly. Your kitchen and dinning will be decorated like this. Now we are in last part of our video. You have already seen we need contentment to use edict power. What is contentment? Contentment is the gratification or satisfaction survivor get by doing their jobs. You can see a happy face star is appearing when survivor is doing his job. Each job has different amount content. You can either collect them by letting survivor do their job or you can purchase 50,000 content menacing 50 gems. One last thing. If President punish you with sloth's effect in offender list, your output from rush job edict will be lower. Be careful about this. That is all for this video. See you in next video. To watch more, subscribe.